let us what we have done we have been talking about production function in short run or production function in one variable. Let us make it little bit more complicated and more realistic in that manner. That now we have you can say in context of this particular problem that production function in long run okay, or another way to put is that production function is in more than one variable and in our particular case that we are talking about we have two variables fine and we have already talked about it earlier then what we will have here is k l and on z axis we will have q and it would be quite complicated even doable, but complex to represent it visually in three dimensional graph. So, what do we do? We use iso quants, okay. we use iso quants to represent this production function and what we have here is L and K and we get rid of this particular axis. Okay, we basically get rid of this particular axis and what do we do? We draw level curves okay, for different level we what we try to figure out the combination of K and KL L which would efficiently produce that particular level of output and thus we get iso quants. These are iso quants. Let us say it is q naught, it is q 1, it is q 2 level. Although notice that these look very similar to indifference curves or this graph looks I can change here instead of k and l I say we have two consumption goods x 1 and x 2 of course, it looks like indifference map or a set of indifference curve, but of course, now we are talking about production. So, we stick to k and l. Fine. Now, let us say. So, it should be L. Oh, it should be L of course. It should be L. Fine. Now, let us say if we increase the amount of L, we increase the amount of L while keeping K fixed. Okay. Let us say here we have l sir uh, the yes. earlier one was lk curve or kl curve lk all everywhere we have been drawing lk curve that is l is on x axis l is on x axis typically again nothing is you know sacrosanct about it you can put k on x axis and l on y axis but this is the convention typically we use but like it's not as sacrosanct as what we have in the demand curve in demand curve we will always have Price, in y axis. price on y axis and quantity on x axis. Here this is also convention, but it is not we are not that particular about it. Nothing would change if we change the axis fine. Okay. So, what will happen here? Let us say if we increase the labor from L naught to L naught plus 1, what will happen? And we keep the k fixed at k naught. So, here what we are doing? earlier we had q naught amount of output okay, with L naught and k naught amount of cap labor and capital respectively. Now, what we are having we are increasing L to L naught plus 1 and k naught. What will happen to q naught? q naught will increase. increase. Let us say it is q 1 fine. So, of course, what we will have basically is if we. So, this combination of k naught and L naught 1 will give a different level of output. So, that let us say we have drawn like this. Okay, fine. Now, here this is q naught and this is q 1. Q naught q 1 is of course, more than q naught. 
Why? Because we are assuming that marginal product of labor at this level is greater than greater than 0, greater than 0 that is why it will go up. Okay? Eventually remember in the table that we have talked about that marginal product of labor falls below 0, but we are not talking about that case. Okay? So, we move from here to here, fine. To bring back you know with this increased lab amount of labor and we want to produce the same amount of output as earlier, what do we need to do? We need to reduce the amount of capital. capital. Okay, we need to reduce the amount of capital and we will bring by thus we will by if we reduce the amount of capital in this particular manner we will come back to this q naught iso quant hmm. is it clear okay so what we are talking about basically is that there is a trade off between these two inputs of production okay if we increase the amount of one, then by decreasing the amount of other in one particular, you know, by particular amount, we will come back to the same production level. Hmm. And something similar we had talked about earlier. Using this, we had talked about the slope of isoquant. Hmm. Here we are not talking about exactly the slope of isoquant, but let us say here what we do, let us say this is delta k. So, delta k, what is happening basically that k naught minus delta k minus k divided by we are taking this particular length and here we have l naught plus 1 minus l naught. We get this particular slope. Zero. This is the slope, the slope of this line we obtain. So, this is 0. How so come it, it is 0? k naught plus this is minus k divided by 1. Okay. This is what we get. That should be k naught. Huh? This is k naught. Hmm. Yeah. Fine. Hmm. And what is this? MRTS. MRTS. We have not talked about it, but this helps us define a new in an, a new term here and that is marginal rate of technical substitution. And what is this? Look at it here, look at this here. What did we do? We have substituted one unit of labor for some amount of capital. We have substituted some amount of capital that is delta k amount of capital by one unit of labor. This is basically defined as marginal rate of technical substitution. So, in more general case here we are of course, taking change in labor is 1. Instead of talking about change in labor and 1, we can talk about delta L change in labor and delta L if we increase the labor by delta L, let us say the capital needs to be decreased by delta K amount to bring the output at the same label. In that case, delta k divided by delta l will be defined as marginal rate of technical, technical substitution in sort MRTS. This is also called rate of technical substitution. You can get rid of this marginal term. It represents the same thing. Okay? You can either say MRTS or RTS. Fine. Remember, this is very similar to marginal rate of substitution, substitution that we have learned in the consumer theory. Mm -hmm. And what is marginal rate of substitution? Slope of indifference curves. Slope of an indifference curve. And what is MRTS basically? Slope of isoquant. MRTS is basically the slope of isoquant. Of an isoquant. But in this form, this is not the slope of isoquant. When do we get the slope of isoquant? When we take delta L 
to 0. Then instead of getting second, this is the second here, we get tangent at this particular point and then we say, then we can say delta k by delta l that is nothing but taking the limit of this in this expression limit delta l going to 0 and this is the slope of the isoquant basically this is the slope of isoquant and what does it give what is the economic interpretation that it gives the trade off between two factors of production so that we remain on the same isoquant here of course we have only two factors of production what will you do if you have more than two factors of production so what you will do you will keep all other factors fixed and you will change only two factors of production in 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 trade off rate that you are interested in okay and then you will get the marginal rate of technical substitution with respect of one input for the other input that these two inputs you have varied fine is it clear okay and this is very very important as we have learned in the earlier chapter that how important mrs is what does mrs give just for just to you know the trade of that in your mind that you are willing to accept and at the optimal level that trade off should be equal to the market trade off market allowed trade off here again we will talk about remember we are talking about producers and what they are interested in they are interested in making profit so of course they are interested in producing something and here we have two factors of production so later on we will learn that the particular combination let us say they want to produce q naught amount of output they can take any combination this combination this combination the infinite combination according to this isoquants are possible so which one they will choose of course it would depend on the prices of these two factors and there you will see that mrts plays the very similar role that mrs has pay, played in the consumer theory but that's for later we will come back to it later